Hello and welcome back to another video. I believe we're in episode 9 now, just about to start chapter 10. And we ended up leaving last episode where Don Corneo got us through a trapdoor and we fell from the heights of Sector 6, I believe, um, in the wall market and now we're down in the sewers. So we're just going to take it up from here and we'll speak to Aerith, why not? And we'll carry on through Earth. this little bit now. Cloud. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. That bastard! So we're starting this off, fighting the Abzu. Make sure that you counter its attacks. Because you can counter them when it charges. So you do that, obviously go into operator mode. Every physical attack that it has, you can counter it. This is weak against fire. However, we will assess it just so we've got it in our beastery. Weak against fire. So then we want to make sure we're blocking. We'll swap to Aerith. And we'll just check who has fire. So Cloud has fire. Uh, uh, Tifa doesn't have... I don't think she's got any material on I don't think I've prepared her. But we'll put Arcane Ward onto Cloud. Let's get you can do it. My turn. Now we want to dodge out the way of this because it is a... Um, it's got like the warning sign in it. We'll do fire it on the horns. So it's weak against that. We want to make sure that we are not in its way. It obviously got us. That's fine. Want to try and attack it as much as we can. And um, we'll get Cloud. He's got poison, so it might be quite difficult, but we'll just do a cure on Cloud. And if I go back to Cloud as well. I think all we can do now is to attack because we're provoked. We'll make sure we're blocking this too. Oh, we can do spells, so we'll go back into here. We'll do another fire. After you. Swap to Aerith. If we can go back to Cloud, we'll be able to do a focus thrust while it's pressured. And then if we choose Tifa and use overpower while it's pressured as well which is the same thing as focus thrust we'll go back into the ward and we'll go with Aerith we'll try and use a potion with Tifa to get people's health up so now that Cloud has A to B, we will do another fire. And with Aerith, we will bring her towards the ward while it's pressured again. Do more fire. Might be able to get another A to B and then do another pressure, uh, focus strike. Should be good. There we go. And now, if we do a limit on it once it's through this phase, because otherwise it will end up losing it completely. Pretty sure. Okay, it's still weak against fire, even though its horns turned red. I thought that it might have changed its weakness, but it seems fine. So you want to get out of the way of this little vent thing. 
We can also use this time to heal up a bit. So we'll just do a normal cure on myself. And we may as well do a potion onto Aerith, get her health up. Bring it. So we can also block these, because it will target us each time. Now we've got to rush it. When it goes in for an attack, we use our limits. And what summon has she got? Okay, so we want to use Ifrit. I'm pretty sure Cloud might have Ifrit. So if we use summon Ifrit, because it's weak against fire, have get fun. this out of the way. With Aerith, we will then do a heal on Cloud. Just bring yourself a bit, a bit more up. So we'll do a Kiora, Cloud. So if we can use... Get a bit more ATV. So we want to make sure that we're not on the floor where the um, surges are going to be. We'll have more of this. So we're going to use Tifa to give us a ether. Well, actually, we'll go in for some focus thrust, just so we can get as much pressure gauge up as possible. Do the same with her. Use, uh, what is it? Overpower. We can control Aerith. Try and get out of the way. And we'll do some more fire if possible. Actually, we'll heal Aerith first. We'll do a Cura on Aerith. Going to our counter stance. Try and get as much deep like counter as possible. It's going to attack again, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and now I need to heal up again. So do Cloud. Aerith can heal Tifa. Uh, killed him. So again, we want to make sure that we're not on these um, spouts from the ground. So Ifrit doing his hellfire should bring his health down quite a bit. Thanks. I think we'll just do a focus thrust, stagger it, and then hopefully we can finish it off without having to revive Tifa. You're braver. Yeah, there we go. I remember when I did this the first time round, it was quite difficult. I had to fight it at least twice because it is a difficult fight. What I would suggest as well is maybe put elemental material on your weapon and use fire. Link it with fire and then you'll always do its weakness on every attack. I didn't realise we'd jump straight into the battle as soon as I spoke to either Aerith or Tita, but there it goes. just so you know for when you do it yourself, do you then obviously here, you can do that. It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! Before we carry on, I just want to um, sort out my materials. Like I said, I want to put the elemental material on. Right there, I was basically blocking fire, which isn't ideal. Uh, best thing to do is probably block water because it does all of its water moves. Uh, I don't think we've actually got water material, actually. Okay, ignore me. Um... So yeah, best thing to do is put your elemental materia into your weapon slot and link it with fire. Now there is a lot of enemies weak against fire in this area. And we've also got healing, lightning and ice. Don't think we need any other uh, like elements for that. So Tifa, yeah, she's literally got nothing on because we've only just acquired her from Don Corneo. 
So I'll give her some more fire as well. Just so that she can um, go against the same enemies as well. I don't think we've got any more. So hopefully there's a vending machine somewhere where I can buy some. So instead we'll give her revival just in case. And because she's so low on health, I'll try and give her a HP up as well if we've got some of that. So let's go with... Okay, we don't have any HP up. So maybe we just go for A to B assist. Slightly fills teammates ATB gauges when ATB commands are used back to back. I think that might be the best. So she's already got first strike, MP and auto cure. So I think everything else should be fine. We'll, we may as well just give her ice just because uh, some enemies are weak against it. Summons. Mate, so this one is... is it got, I don't think it's got an element. Oh, that, that one's wind. This one is no element. So I'm thinking we do no, no elemental because there's nothing against wind right now. And what's she got on at the minute? Crescent Moon Charm. That's giving us reduced damage taken when equipped by non-active characters. So I might be using T for quite a bit. So instead, we'll just give her the Champion's Belt that we unlocked in Chapter 8. Because once you do the um, the squat minigame, then you get access to that belt. He's got the earrings so that he can't die. Uh one time per battle, which is good. And Aerith has got on the reduced fire, ice, lightning and wind damage, which is fine at the minute. Uh, I don't think anything else really matters. Um, but we should be fine. If we just check uh, Tifa, I mean Aerith, if we, because she's got the linked materia here, I'm thinking that we get rid of wind for now. Move this over there. Our healing we put into the linked. And we put magnify onto this. Because this um, will heal everybody in the party. Um, it will only be 40% of its potency because, as you can see on the right, it says reduced by 60%. So it is toggleable. So if only one person needs the healing, press L1 on PS5 and then it'll do its full 100% on the single target. So we can just use that just so it uses the same amount of ATB as one cure, but we heal everyone. So she's also got fire. Ice and lightning, refocus, um, and everything else should be fine. With Tifa's abilities, so if she uses focus strike, which evades an, an attack and increases stagger, which is good. Overpower is also used to pressure enemies, so both of them abilities can be quite good. Um... Aerith has a new weapon, Arcane Scepter. So that could be nice because you get so much more materia with it. So I think first, just check, has it been upgraded? It has been upgraded, so this is like as best as it can be. Um, just going to keep using the Buster Sword. So we may as well give Aerith this new Scepter. Put materia over. And just give her basically anything else that we've got. So prayer, we can go do this. Because that is also a party heal. And what else can we give her? Um, synergy. We'll give her synergy. And we'll link that with fire. So then every ability that we use, she will use fire on the enemy. Because, of course, if all the enemies are weak against fire, it'll be good to do as much damage as possible with that. Are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? 
An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. Try to stay behind me. I didn't get a chance to heal Tifa, so hopefully we can get some ATB. We'll do that pretty quick. We'll just kill this now. Because we've got fire on our sword, it should be quite easy. Not my so, best work. Has Tifa, Tifa hasn't got any healing spells, so we may as well just use a potion with her. It'd be good if we could find a bench, get our MP back. Or maybe we could get an MP shard from in here. Yeah, we've got a bit of MP. Not loads, but it'll do. So we'll just open this up. Might just use an ether. Because it'll be better to be prepared for the next battle. Use an ether on Cloud. Use an ether on Aerith as well. We will unflood this area. Pretty sure we unlock a new weapon down here as well. I think it's one for Tifa. Just gonna see, is there anything over here? Inside of these. Got a bit more MP, that's good. We'll climb down. Underneath here is the purple box, so we can get another weapon. Yeah, so that one's for Tifa. I don't think we've got full proficiency yet on these. So next will be Star Shower. But we need a level up focus strike first. So we just need to stagger an enemy and it'll increase. So this should be fine. We'll try and use that as much as possible. Just so we can start leveling up the next weapon as well. So we will rest. Get our MP back. And as you could hear there, there was also another music disc. Make sure we buy that. So we'll buy this now. Number nine. And make sure you fully, like, you've got quite a few items. So just check the stocked. And I think we're fine at the minute. Don't need any of this. Like I said, I would like to get another fire. And then I can probably put a fire on T for now. Get a HP up as well. So we will go to Tifa. So what's she got? She got Revival, she got Ice. Uh, we can probably get rid of the MP up. Let's take a fire on her. There we go. Uh, instead of first strike, we'll give her the, her the HP up. And then we should be sweet. Not sure if there's anything down in this way. It doesn't look like it. So now we're just going to be fighting a bunch of enemies. Um, any new enemies, make sure that we're assessing. We know from chapter three that these enemies are weak against ice. So there's no need to assess them. Because we already assessed them in a side quest. That's a win. But this is quite a long section. However, they're such easy enemies, so there's nothing to really worry about. Now, when it goes for attack, um, or when it guards as well, don't attack it when it's guarding. Because otherwise, it will counter attack you. When it's lost its guard, then you can attack it. Let's see what's over here. So I'm pretty sure that might be the way forward. Just check. So we came from this area. Let's see what's down here first. Okay, so we need to go over the ladder and climb back over. We can open that gate. Walk through here. And... 
I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Just make our way through here. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. That's a power generator, all right. Wow, talk about ancient. It's an antique, older than the Mako reactors even. It'd be a miracle if it still works. We'll grab these boxes, see what we can get out of it. Hey, would you look at that? Come back around. Let there be light. Have we assessed these? We're not assessing them yet. We'll get some ATB. And then we'll go for an assess. Okay, we can now assess. And these are against ice. So we don't want to attack it when he's got his guard up. So now that he's gone down, we can now attack it. And it should just be easy enough as that. Keep those gloves up. Use Aerith and we'll turn off the um, magnify and just cure Cloud normally. Uh, pretty sure on the other side there is a lever. If we can pull that, drain the water a bit. So we'll drain this. There might be some more items down there. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Yeah, we'll climb down. Of this. That's all we need from here. We'll go back to the other side. We'll see if the water drained over there as well. Is there another lever here? Yes, it's just in the corner. So we'll climb back down and the reason that we need to go under here is so we can get this item and get through the door a key? because it was locked at the minute. And now we'll be able to get through here. should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. Might be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. So carry on through. Um, you're dead. Make sure that you're not in line of the balls because it will put you to no sleep. Holding back. I see you. It's over. So that's Slumber Spoon. Just be out of the way of it. Have we assessed these? Yes. They're looking at Thunder. We don't really need to use any elements though because they're pretty weak just to normal attacks. Better save our MP for now. make our way through. Oh, that one's locked. Uh, we may have to go through this ladder. We 
pull this lever and let the water drop. Climb down. Pretty sure there's some enemies that spawn. Yeah, there's some here. They're nothing. Compared to us, at least. Make sure we're not in line of the poison. Bring it. Here we go. See ya. There we go. Kill these. We'll stop Steeper. Here it comes. He's got his guard up at the minute, so wait till he drops it. And uh, we'll do our combo where we do whirl and uppercut and then dive kick. Pretty good damage. Small enemies under here. Same thing. Let's end this quick. So let's try and stay out of the way. All these we can't ice. So I'm pretty sure we can still use ice when they're in their um, guard phase. That did massive damage to everyone. Climb up. I have to pull this lever as well, and then we can cross over, pretty sure. No, it's the other, it's on the other side that we cross over. So, is there anything? So, there's some more material here behind us. Make sure you grab this. We have got some poison already, but if you need multiple party members to use it, it's always best to have more. It says having to buy it then. So next enemy will be a Sahagan, and they are against fire. Have we assessed one already? We have not. So, so make sure you block its attacks, because it will do physical. So we'll do that, and then we've got enough ATB to assess. Go into assess. And you can see we against fire, do an uppercut, do a dive kick. If we swap to Cloud, and never mind, it was going to jump, but because we staggered it, it was all fine. Moving on then. So we'll pull this one, and now is when we cross over the river. All right, now we should be able to get across. And we'll get into a little cutscene. Okay. Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But but what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. I could do. Hear that, Cloud? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, 
There's nothing else around here. So we'll just continue. Focus. Still thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. <sighs> Very strange how in chapter two he could leap literally 20 foot into the air, but right there he couldn't jump over a bridge. But you know, we don't question it. Something to keep in mind as well is a theory anyway is that Aerith can, she knows everything that happened in the original Final Fantasy VII, which is quite interesting. Like she always, like she just said there was, fate isn't always set in stone, but she's aware of all the events that happened in that game. So clearly there is some things that she wants to be in place and things that need to happen will happen the way they're intended to. But that is just a theory, so could not be the case. However, it holds the same, the same for Sephiroth, apparently. He is aware of all previous events. But I'm sure we'll find out when Rebirth comes out, which isn't too far away now. If you, did, if you didn't check out my review on the trailer, I'll leave a links card up on the right so you can give that a look at because uh, I think it was pretty interesting. I looked at one of the latest trailers. So, um, All right, enough. It, it's really looking exciting for the future of it. I might just use an Infinity's End because it's an area of effect. We should be able to get everything. Um, I wish it was stronger, especially in area effects, because it is meant to be a powerful ability, especially using all of your ATB for it. So you got some gravity. If you don't know what gravity does, it takes away a quarter of the enemy's health as long as they're not immune to it. So most bosses you can't use it on because that would be pretty overpowered. Get back. There are these. I'll try and get some A to B before it goes into its guard. But to be fair, if we just do a Blizzara, I'm sure the area effects will kill them. Yeah. If you use ice, it just destroys them. That's pretty nice. I don't think there's much of this little maze left. Which is good because it does get quite a bit boring. They're not compared to us. Try and stay away from the bubbles. I obviously walked into it. That's all right. Do a whirling uppercut. Do a dive kick. Easy. You're burning up. It's all. Go on. 
I'm still asleep. That's all good. Easy enough. Let's go. Can't grab that chest. But there is a Sahagan on the other side. There was something over here. Yep, there's another pathway. I need to fight these two. Get ready. So we kill this. Do a triple slash. We'll attack all of them then. Oh, I don't know. It was Ingot's guard. It's all fine. It's our guard now. And our kick. Cloud may as well just do an arm blizzard on it. I got your number. <laughs> Nothing to it. Let's see. I think this might be the way forward. So we'll go back and up, I think. Oh, wait, no. I'm not sure which way is forward. All right, well, I'll just go back first. I'll see what's that one that way. There's more en enemies over here. So I'm guessing we climb up and go around. Hmm. Oh, there's some links for area here. Warden. That's not the best. It just gives you... Um, I can't remember what warding does. I think it makes you a bit more immune to certain things, possibly. I won't lose. Go on. Managed to counter that, which is good. So he'll probably go for another attack in a second. Make sure we we'll block him. There we go. And um, we may as well do a normal fire on it. Let's finish. There we go. The way to do it. Easy as that. I think there's some more things over here, so more boxes. We'll grab this box as well. Some revival earrings, which is quite nice. Now, they are only single use, if you didn't know. They revive you once in battle and then break, so if you need any more, you need to buy them. But it's still nice that it's given to us. Now we'll make our way back around if it's the right way. Yep. And this is the way forward. I don't think there's anything left. down now and we are at the objective look that must be the way out I wonder there must be some way we can lower the water level I think for this bit I might put magnify on fire so I'm going to heal everyone, and then I'm going to put Magnify on fire, just for the next part. I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level. Hey Cloud, you want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water, right? Yeah, I'm going to do that now. Just thinking of what's in the future. So maybe I just swap it on Aerith. So our fire, we swap it for healing. And maybe we'll just put ice on the synergy. Should be fine. No luck? Must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right, I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. So, turn a little minigame. I can't even remember how this works. Maybe this is a little different from the one at the bar. More 
Industrial. Use L to open the valve. The needle will start to swing from right to left. Have to see if it work the pump. Hit X to expand the target range. As the indicator hand swings back to the right, use L to close the valve. Okay, we will try. We'll leave her up. And now spam X. Okay, so that's how it works. We need to pull it down when it gets over into the red. Try to stay in sync. We'll spam X again. We need to stop the needle when it goes in the red. That did not work. Whoops. Keep calm. <laughs> Should get the next one though, because the range is quite large now. There we go. First try. Spectacular. <laughs> All good. It's quite difficult because it is a stick. If it was just a button, I think it would be better. But it is not a button, and you got to swing the entire stick down. Oh my! I'm really good at games. Try to stay in sync. I'm a gamer. Finally, and of course, they get it dead center this time. One more. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Could it be any faster? Keep calm. Good. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team. There you go. I'm going to make time to heal everybody now. I'm going to use Cloud for it because I want Aerith to have as much MP as possible. And next, I'll just use a potion or something. There we go. Now, we're about to face a lot sure of the Hargans. There we go. So I'll swap straight to Aerith. I'll get an ATV and want to use this Fyra on both of these. There we go, because obviously, if we can get these staggered, it'll be a lot easier. Do a triple slash, as much damage as possible. There we go. Now, these battles are so difficult without Magnify. So it's good that we've got that. Another Targon. So, be careful of the Slumber Sloom, uh, Spoon. So I don't think you got anyone, which is good. Going to do. Well, actually, I'm going into guard. I'm doing a jump. Oh, the uh, blobby thing hit me. We'll just do fire. Keep it together. I got this. I'll show you what I can do. And should be able to just finish him. We'll do a thunder, or oh, we don't need to. They're pretty low. One more shot. There we go. Was never in doubt. Another thing I can't look forward to is the aerial combat in Rebirth, because in this game it is sure terrible. It up, There's no kind of flexibility with it, and it's just not nice to play in the air, especially when you do you fight against winged enemies. 
Um, it's just, it's horrible. This is gonna hurt. There I we think go. we're almost done. <laughs> Gotta go for it now. This one's for you. May as well do another fire on everything. Finish him off. Go on. So he's dead. No, he can back. die as well. Triple slash. There we go. And he is dead as well. <laughs> Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Hang back. I'll go on ahead and secure the exit. Actually, I think once we go up there, we have to do another fight, maybe. Okay. Actually, I don't think we have to fight these. Looks like they're hungry. Maybe we do. We're not delicious. Not even a little bit. Get going. Now. Okay. You too. But there's too many of them. Not for me. Hurry. Last warning. Back off or die. Cloud! Come on! Understood. The Avalanche mission's been approved. We ought to proceed as planned. <sighs> this is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. <laughs> this is the start of chapter 11. So we've done the entirety of chapter 10 just there, which is very good. Um, this chapter is also going to be a short one. However, I'm going to cut this up into a few episodes just so I can, like, have a few days where it's pretty consistent. I'll try and get one out each day um, as we are getting closer to Rebirth now and we're on chapter 11. There's still seven chapters left, so chapter 11 goes up to chapter 18. Um, and it'll be good if I can get the consistency and there will be a time at the start of February where I can pretty much record every day it's just I'm quite busy um, right now so I will end this episode here I'll get a new episode out tomorrow so make sure to subscribe and leave notifications on so you are aware when that video comes out so thank you for watching and we will carry on with this tomorrow. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.